Hi there. Now in this video I want to introduce you to something called the triple scalar product for three vectors a, b and c. It's defined as a dotted with b crossed with c or because the dot product, scalar product is commutative it's exactly the same as b crossed with c then dotted with a. And what is this going to be useful for? Well, in later videos, I'm going to show you that we can use it to find the volume of a parallel of piped or a tetrahedron. But first of all, what we need to do is find a quick way of working out this result for three vectors. So if we let, say, A, B and C be the three vectors with components A1, A2, A3, b1, b2, b3, and c1, c2, c3, respectively, then when it comes to working out a dotted with b crossed with c, then what are we going to get? Well, it's going to equal a1, a2, a3, dotted with b crossed with c. And I've written this in determinant form. You should be familiar with this if you've watched the previous video tutorials on the vector cross product. So working this out further, you're going to have the dot product between the vector A with components A1, A2 and A3 then. And when you work out the determinant for the cross product between B and C, then you're going to have the components of I being B2, C3 minus B3, C2. And for J, this will be the negative of B1, C3 minus C1, B3. But because it's the negative, we can change this round to B3, C1 minus B1, C3. And then for the K component, it will be B1, C2 minus B2, C1. So we're going to have B1, C2 there, minus B2, C1. And so when you dot these two together, you end up with this result here which you should recognize as being equal to the determinant of A1, A2, A3. And then underneath this, we would just have the vector component for B, which is B1, B2, B3, and then the vector components of C, which is C1, C2, C3. So very easy result then just to remember. Now, there's some other results that follow from this. I'm not going to prove them to you. Just leave it to you as an exercise if you'd like to try it using the vectors A, B and C that we've got here. We've just worked out what A dotted with B cross C was. It came to this result here, which was the same as working out this determinant. However, try B dotted with C cross A or C dotted with A cross B you should find you end up with exactly the same result. And also notice that uh, if you do A dotted with A crossed with any vector, let's say we call it X, it should come to zero. And I'll leave that for you also to try. Now in the next video, what I'll be doing is verifying these results here just through using numerical vectors rather than an algebraic approach. So it's something, again, that I'd encourage you to have a look at and try.